Hör auf dein Herz. I'm sure you know the feeling. You're happy and excited or tense and stressed out and suddenly you notice how your heart is racing and pumping. And this feeling can be very frightening, especially if you don't know what's behind it all. Since our heartbeat is influenced by many factors and particularly reacts to emotions like joy, stress and anger with an increased pulse, this is usually simply our heart's normal reaction to different external stimuli. Unfortunately, however, the reason why your heart is racing and skipping beats could also be a serious cardiac arrhythmia that needs to be treated before it turns into serious complications. At risk are people with medical conditions that promote the occurrence of cardiac arrhythmias. These include people whose heart noticeably skips beats, those who suffer from high blood pressure, diabetes, or have recently had a heart attack or a stroke. In addition, women in menopause, elderly people over the age of 60, and of course people who already have a history of cardiac arrhythmias are also at risk. Overall, the number of at-risk people is estimated to range from 100 to 150 million in industrialized countries alone. Atrial fibrillation is the most common cardiac arrhythmia occurring in adults and requiring treatment. What happens is the fibrillation of the atria of the heart slows down the blood flow, which can lead to the formation of blood clots. These in turn can get caught up in the bloodstream and be transported into the brain. Once there, they could clog a cerebral artery and stop blood flow. Worldwide, every 10 seconds, an undetected or untreated cardiac arrhythmia ends in a stroke. We can help prevent such clot formation with blood thinning drugs and thereby protect against this complication. Before this preventive treatment can be given, obviously, the patient must have been actually diagnosed with cardiac arrhythmia. But that's not always easy because many cardiac arrhythmias have an unpleasant way of going undetected or making themselves scarce right at the time when your doctor is recording an ECG. Conventional routine tests normally concentrate on measuring blood pressure and pulse, but sadly do not routinely check the cardiac rhythm, for example, pulse regularity. So what can be done about this? You have the solution right at hand, your own smartphone. Most of us carry one around with us all the time anyway, so we usually have it available when we notice an abnormal heartbeat. With the Preventicus Heartbeats app, you now have the easiest way to determine whether your racing heart or heart palpitations you feel are a harmless trend and event or actually a sign of a serious cardiac arrhythmia like atrial fibrillation. The best part is the Preventicus Heartbeats app is an approved medical device. In other words, not just some technical gadget. It allows you to check your heartbeat everywhere and at any time without any additional equipment. And the fact that it works has also been proven. Large-scale studies like the Stroke Stop study demonstrated that self-monitoring of cardiac rhythm helps with the detection of rhythm disorders in the population and is a sensible thing. It allows early effective treatment to be initiated and thereby reduces severe complications like stroke. How does it work exactly? It's really easy. You install the Preventicus Heartbeats app on your smartphone. The next time you notice an abnormal pulse, you open the app and place the camera lens of your smartphone on your fingertip. The Preventicus Heartbeats algorithm now analyzes your pulse curve and within five minutes you get the results. Ideally, the following image results. The traffic light is green, your cardiac rhythm is regular, your pulse rate normal and no abnormalities were detected. For the moment you are reassured that nothing's wrong and can repeat the measurement in regular intervals. These regular checks are important because cardiac arrhythmias are not noticeable 50% of the time. If extra beats occur with a greater frequency that might be suspicious of mild cardiac arrhythmia, then the traffic light turns yellow. If this happens repeatedly, you should consult a doctor to discuss further procedure. If the traffic light turns red, that means that the system has identified that you have meaningful cardiac arrhythmia or atrial fibrillation. If left untreated, this poses a high risk for your health and can lead to serious complications like a stroke. Therefore, you should consult your doctor as soon as possible. In that case, you can print out your result as a PDF file or send it by email to your doctor with whom you can then plan further treatment strategy. So take your health into your own hands and get peace of mind with Preventicus Heartbeats.